personal financial management. Now, how many of you think that this is important for, uh, or why are we talking about this in professional development class? Anybody have any ideas? Is personal financial management important for your career? Why? What's that? Okay, anybody else? Can manage your own money, how can manage your company money? That's great, a lot of people look at that as well. All right, anyone else? All right. It has a lot to do, I think it's one of the most important things to know when you're leaving college. Um, I don't know, how many of you have been uh, given the talk by parents, or not that talk, <laughs> but about financial management, how important it is, and there's a reason for that. It's because uh, of a couple of reasons. First, it gives you security. Personal financial management, it gives you security to be able to be independent and make choices in life. If you can't control your money and you have no control over, over your personal financial management, it affects every area of your life, including your career, because, because of exactly that. If you're not independent, you can't, have, you can't make choices in life. We're gonna to get to exactly what that means here shortly. But I think this is one thing that I'm very passionate about this because of the mere simple fact that if, if, if you don't feel, if you're not independent, if you're not financially secure enough to be independent, it's gonna severely limit your choices in life, it, including your career, which is a big part of it, okay? So um, we're gonna talk about uh, the significance of money management and budgeting on personal and professional success, distinguishing wise use of credit and identifying debt management resources, evaluating alternatives for financing for student loans, financial aid, and other resources, discovering the impact of your credit report has on your financial future. How many of you know your FICO score? Okay. How many of you know what a FICO score is? How many of you don't know what a FICO score is? Good, that's a good reason why we're here today then. Um, identifying methods to protect yourself from identity theft, and assessing money wasters, emotional spending, and the impact that money has on relationships. Now this is important for your career because if you're in a hole financially, it limits what you're able to do with your career. It limits your ability to move, to either switch careers, switch jobs, switch locations. There's a ton of things that, that are uh, factors here. A personal financial management is the, is the process of controlling your income and your expenses. How many, would you, how many of you would say that you feel very confident that you do a good job managing your personal finances? How many of you would say you need help with it? Okay. All right, for those of you that raise your hand that, you're, that you feel confident and good about your personal financial management, why do you say that? What is it about what you're doing that makes you think you're doing a good job? Leah. Um, I, I've had a credit card again since I was like six years, seven, you know, I pay the bill one time every month. I manage my checking account, make sure that, you know, nothing is over. Mm -hmm. And it may be under my mom's account, but I do it myself. Right. And she's a debt. Keep track of all my bills, how much it's going to take out when they come out. Um, and I pretty, pretty much have a set date, and I know when money's going to be withdrawn from my account on all of day. Mm -hmm. And so I just make sure there's not, I have enough money in my account. I also make sure that I'm putting a percentage of it into savings or percentage of my savings into an investment group and investing my money now. So it's outstanding. Yes. I save money, so I transfer money to a savings account usually, and I know like when I need, like I pay my bills first, and then I write down a list of things I need, things I want. I get the needs first, and then if I have extra, I get like some of the wants, but not everything. There you go. You can't have everything with one life. That's pure economics. <laughs> I mean, if we wanted, if we had, unless those of us are those of you online, unless we're born and we have. Um, you know, a trust fund, and we don't have to worry about money for the rest. And if that's the case, you probably don't have to watch this video, but I would I'd probably not highly encourage it. But the majority of us don't have those resources, so that's why this is so important. Um, a lot of us, we have our income from a couple different ways. Some of us, we're not working right now. Our income will come from our parents, comes from gifts, comes from, and I know we got this weird blue thing going on in the screen here, so you can't wait to read it all, but you'll be able to go back on the line and see it. Um, another part of your uh, uh, income is from student loans, and 
Some of it's from jobs. That's where most people derive their income from, is from jobs. Um, now after college, you're most likely going to be starting a new career, so your income's going to increase. That's the reason we're in college. I mean, the part of the goal was yes, we want to learn, we want to become smarter, but how many are here in college to be able to get a better job when they're done? Okay, any other reasons why you're in college? All right, that's the thing that we sometimes, sometimes in academia, we're, we're, which is why I'm really happy that our school um, and our university, why they focus so much on career services, because a, a lot of universities, um, you know, that they're not nearly as, as focused on what happens after college. You're here for four years, because four years is, is huge on the trajectory of your life after college. Okay? It's a short time to be able to refine, teach, and get you ready for what could be the next, what, 40, 50 years of work. I mean, it's a big tech, but it's not, a, it's just not confined to four years. As we talk about lifelong learning, is just continuing to learn for the rest of your life. I still, you know, every, every day I try to learn something new, try to sharpen the saw or, or uh, to, to keep, you know, increasing my skill set and develop my toolbox so I'm getting better at what I do. That's what we all have to keep in mind is these four years, you know, we placed a lot on college, but after you get out, and it's just, this is just the beginning, it's the, it's the stepping stone, the foundation for what you're gonna do later in your life. Um, we talk about income, where money's coming in, and then on the opposite side of that, we have money going out. We have expenses, tuition, books, supplies, housing, food, transportation. Hobbies and entertainment. Um, healthcare is a big one. Um, you know, some of you paying your own healthcare is one thing. You're still on your on your parents' health care plan. Uh, it's a cost you're going to be seeing down the road. And then loans. Once you get out of school and you start paying those loans back, raise your hand if you take out student loans. Okay, you're going to have to pay that back at some point. So these are things we're going to have to budget in when you talk about budgets. After you, after you uh, leave college. Hopefully, I mean, you have a great plan right now what you're doing. Uh, we talk about automating your expenses and making sure that it's automatically coming out every month so you're autom automatically paying that every month. Building your credit up, showing that you're paying your bills on time. You don't want to get into a habit where you're missing where you're missing payments on credit cards or other bills. That's going to affect you negatively for a long time. All right? We're going to talk about that as well. Um, Personal finances impact all areas of your life. Um, so it's important to create a personal financial plan right now. Um, uh, help you to reach your lifelong goals, to monitor your money, know where your money is coming in, where it's going out. That's really important. A lot of people, you know, they don't know where, they have no idea where they sit financially. Uh, keeping your debt under control, protecting yourself from identity theft is a big one. Identity theft, for those of you, I mean, it, it is so common right now. Um, statistically, you know, if anybody gets a hold of certain information, they're gonna work on, on the internet. If they hack you, they're going to, you know, there's some damage that can be done, but there's also ways to counteract that. Um, and don't allow it to affect your worker and add stress. That's the main thing about personal financial management when we're talking about your career. Now, if you're stressed out because you got all these bills, you got stuff happening outside of work, how many of you think it's going to affect your work performance? It does. You know, if you're at work and you're thinking all the time, well, how am I going to pay this bill? Am I going to pay my rent? I'm going to do all this stuff takes away from your uh, what you're doing at work. When you're at work, should you're being paid to perform for your body, that's what's going to get you ahead. If you have something weighing you down each and every day, you walk in that door, it's going to affect your job. And you can't be thinking about that, you can't be focused on that. You need to be focusing on your job, you need to be focused on your building those steps to be successful in your career. If you're worrying about how you're gonna pay your JC Penny bill or something like that, it's gonna be a problem, okay? Plus, when you go for future jobs, they're gonna get that. They're gonna look at your credit. You know, you give them, when, when you sign those applications, you're asking for, you know, um, uh, for permission for them to pull your credit report, especially if you're working with cash and other things, it's gonna, it's gonna affect uh, you know, your chances of potentially getting a job in the future. It affects so many areas of your life. Your credit affects the rates you pay for your insurance, life insurance, health insurance, um, 
auto insurance, you name it, it affects it affects that. Even if you call up and you're uh, trying to get a, you know, a, trying to get cable at your house, you know, the, if you're going to start an account, they're going to run a credit check on it. Okay, how many of you are aware of all the credit checks that? Okay, they run a lot of credit checks on you. So what you have to make sure of is that you're building a strong credit profile for the future, okay? You should be starting now, building it. How many think debt is a bad thing? Okay, managing debt, manual debt is a good thing though. If you have a, a little bit of debt is good if you're able to manage it. If you're able to manage it, make, make payments over time, you're on top of your debt, it's good. You need to be in debt in order to, in order to you know, a manageable debt in order to be successful in the future. You have to. They're gonna to check to you. If you have no debt, that's not good. Get that manageable debt, okay? So, maintaining a positive credit report. Employers may require a credit check, as I talked about. It's using credit wisely. You know, you're not gonna take your, you know, a lot of people, when I was in college, for example, I remember walking down student centers 25 years ago, getting, um, you know, they, they, you sign up for a credit card, I got like a free beer, Huggy or something like that, or free something. And that thing ended up costing like after you figure it out, a lot of money because of you know you get this brand new American Express. Wow, got an Amex. Go hit you know go wherever. You know I was back east, so go to Atlantic City. You know I didn't spend like thousands and thousands, but and then you get that bill, and you really you got to pay that bill. So you need to be smart. I mean if you're using that Amex and you're and you're using it wisely, you're paying it back at the end of every month. That's the best thing you can do at this stage, is to keep 